Okay. Okay. All right. Here we are in a special Canadian edition of the Wine Guild. And I'm going to throw this over to Al DeMeo because he's the one that visited the wine to tell you about this little Jackson Triggs find. This is from Dra Jackson Triggs. It's their estate wine. They call it Delaney Vineyard. It's a 2005 Riesling. You Riesling, can only, huh? You can only get it at the vineyard. They only sell their estate bottlings at the vineyard. And we did the uh, wine tour and the vineyard tour. So we brought a couple bottles back, and this is, uh, we're down to two, so, so I guess we're they were down good. to one. I guess they were good then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you about Canadian wine. Are they, uh, is the wine as wimpy as the country? So do, do, do they need, like, another country's wine to protect their, their, their Riesling? <laughs> no, but they have to have flamethrowers in the vineyards. <laughs> they know they really do, because in the winter, if they, don't, too cold. they use a flamethrower yeah. that they, they blow out over, the, over all the, uh, the vines mm -hmm. to keep them from freezing up and dying. Yeah. Because the vines okay. apparently are wimpy. Uh, well, that makes sense then. So, <laughs> give it a little swirl. Well, we got uh, you know, it's like a classic Riesling look to it. It's very, yeah. very uh, straw color. Straw color, right? Right. We're weak urine colored yeah. after a yeah. lot of beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to smell? I smell some green apple. Some straw, maybe. Hmm, interesting. It's an odd taste to it. It has like an effervescence to it. Yeah, there's like right? bubbles. Yeah. Even though it's not a sparkling wine, which is common, I guess, for Riesling. Leave it to Canada. Sweet. Well, I mean, it's sweet, but it kind of dries out, which is which is decent. I mean, it's not it's yeah. not totally it's not totally a candy wine. Right. It's not syrupy or anything. Yeah. I don't like when you get, if you get a Riesling and it doesn't have that, that crisp taste. Right. It's got that, that crisp acidity. It does have the acidity. I can feel it in the back of my tongue, in my in my throat. <clears throat> Which is good. Basically, yeah. you taste green apple mm -hmm. and some real um, citrusy kind of flavor, but I'm not sure. It doesn't, it's not really lemon or lime. It's, it's, it's hard citrusy. to say. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to say what that is. Um, I do taste a little bit of lemon, though. I mean, you start out with the green apple, then it turn, turns into lemon. So it's, it's a complex wine, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more depth than you would expect from Canada. Yeah, I give I give thumbs up to the Canadians for this little... Well, it's probably owned by Americans, though, that went to Canada. <laughs> what do you think? Very well could be. <laughs> Although I don't know many Americans named Delaney. And it's, it's named for the, the, the owner's uh, wife, Delaney. Nestled in the heart... Of Niagara Peninsula, Don Triggs, the co-founder of Jackson Triggs, and his wife, Elaine, have meticulously developed their Delaney Vineyard in, pers in pursuit of growing the highest possible quality of grapes. Let's see, we got 11% alcohol on this, 2005. I mean, it's it's held up. I'm surprised. That's good. It's yeah. held up for, for six years, yeah, which it's is probably good. the end of its life at yeah. this point. But it drinks fairly well. All right. Well, if you like white wine and you like Riesling, I think this is where you go. And I, as what I recall is, it was a fairly moderate priced wine, uh, probably in the. The twenty dollar, twenty five dollar uh, price point. But Actually, the more I drink it, the more the lemon seems yeah, to be taking over. Like a lemon zest. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, this is definitely something that you're going to drink when it's hot out, and you're you want to. Uh, you really can't take the the reds, so you're going to go with one of these rieslings. And if you don't like a, a sugary sweet riesling, this is a good good uh, yeah, way to go. It's like I said, it's not syrupy. Yeah. All right, well... Um, Try a little cheese, it's better. With cheese? Let's see, a little brie. Takes that little edge off of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, the, you know, the brie kind of devastates it and turns into, like, water, almost. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely mellows out that yeah. Christmas. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. A good summer wine 
Go Canada. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is, however, a vineyard that if you it's, live in New Jersey, you can you can visit. That's true. Yes. Because it was only, I think, five hours to get up there, and it's maybe five miles, ten miles outside of Niagara Falls. So. All right. Well, and in closing, I'll just say that if it, if the Canadians weren't such wimps, they'd be part of this country right now. If they had the balls to stand up to the British, like uh, the Americans did at the time. They would be part of this country. They'd have true freedom, unlike that Canada Day thing they do, whatever the hell that is. I thought is. under NAFTA they were already the 51st state. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't know what this Canada Day is. They're celebrating independence from what? They still have the Queen. I mean, what are they independent from? I don't know. They're all fawning over the Prince this week. Oh, they were playing street hockey with them. Too, f- too close for the 4th of July for this. Drink this stuff later in the year. That's it from the Wine Guild. Last time of the tasting ever. See ya.